Hi guys and girls, this time I've got before you a FN1. This is a Type S. You can get this in a 1.8 petrol, 1.4 petrol, 2.2 diesel. Now the reason why I'm doing this one is because I did the FN2 Type R recently. Again, this is the eighth generation European platform. So it looks exactly the sort of same as the last car in terms of shapes, dimensions, everything like that. But this is a different engine, being the Type S. So as you can see behind me, this is the car. And this is the 1.8 variation. So this is a single cam engine, an R series 1.8. Uh, this belongs to my good friend, Bob. You will see some videos, small videos on this car um, prior to today. Uh, he's done a few bits since then. One of them being the uh, Samota air intake, which you can see here. It does make a good bit of noise, which is what I've been told and also heard myself, uh, which also comes with that little breather part here. He's also fitted a six to one oil cap. Uh, good, another little thing I like he's done on this. These black um, screen wash covers, like that. Um, he's also put, this car itself is actually a pre-facelift. So it would normally have the Perspex window grille. So he's fitted the facelift sport grille, which I really like. And he's also fitted the Maxton design front skirt, which he should be doing the rest of the kit eventually. He's also fitted um, clear vinyl, sorry, yellow vinyl over the front fog lights. The car is fitted on 17 by seven and a half rotor boosts on 225 45 17 tires. Um, these are ET45, I believe, in a grey. He's also on lowering springs. I believe they are IBAC, which will probably be a 30 mil drop. Uh, he also has rear spacers, which are from MJC Automotive, which I believe they are a 15 mil drop. Cool. Now this rear spoiler is actually an optional extra. This being um, really tasteful in my opinion. A lot of guys, even if they don't have a Type R, they will stick either a Type R spoiler or a Mugen spoiler on it, which I think ruins it. Now this, this car is a GT as well. So it's a Type S GT, which the main feature it comes with is the panoramic sunroof. I really like that. Uh, other features it includes is uh, automatic wiping, um, automatic headlights, folding mirrors, um, climate control, dual zone climate control actually on this one. So you can see inside it's fairly similar to the Type R that I featured recently. If you look on that side, uh, the, above the window switch, there is also a temperature switch. So the passenger can have the, the hot air conditioning, hot or cold, or sorry, just the temperature of the heating um, on, her, on that side, as well as different on this side, which is controlled over here by the driver's controls. Push start button, all eighth gen European models have this button. Uh, like I said, power folding mirrors as well. Cruise control on here, steering wheel controls, bit of a worn um, Honda badge on here um, as well. So obviously carbon fiber gear knob that he's put on and a Broadway mirror, which they, I think they're great. Eagle eyed European viewers will probably notice as well. The fact I've said this is a pre facelift. It is when you look at the year Obviously this production car is uh, 2006 to 2011. Um, the Type R, like I said in the last one, was 2007 to 2011, although I did say 2010, but I have corrected that in the comments. Um, these would have actually had all of the lower trim side um, skirts, arches. They would have all been a, a bare plastic, unpainted, untreated. Luckily, when he bought this car, someone had already gone to the length of having all that color coded looks much better but is a standard feature on the facelift now, i personally like what bob's done with this car um, he's also fitted um, amber indicator bulbs 
Now, as this generation of standard comes with a chrome indicator bulb in the front uh, to give more of a European look. Uh, he's also done um, the centre section on the exhaust has been uh, had the silencer taken out, so it's now non resonators Sounds much better, gives a bit more so noise. Yeah, this is Bob's car. He didn't want to be on camera today. He's a little bit camera shy. Um, so, yeah, that's his car. This is the 1.8 Civic Type S.